Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have an updated Trello tutorial for you. So here is how Trello works. You start with a board. So here I've created an example just to show you, but we are going to be creating a weekly plan from scratch as well. So it starts with boards and a board is like a notebook. I'm going to click on it and show you how it works. Once you set up your board, you create lists on that board and a list is like a page of a notebook. And after that, you set up cards for each list. And a card is like the actual content of a page. Here's where you will add all the things you want to keep track of. And there are several things that are unique about Trello, which is why I like to use it for some things. I do love Evernote, but there are some things that just work better with Trello. For one, you have a bird's eye view of your project. You can see everything at once. Another thing that's unique about Trello is that these lists move around and uh, so do the cards. You can rearrange them as you need so you can always keep your project organized as you're working through it. Another thing is that each card has a back to it. If you click on it, you'll be presented with all of these options where you can attach and add several different things to your card. So there's no shortage of ways to keep up with information on your Trello boards. Now let me show you how to create one from scratch. First you're going to click on create a new board. Then you'll be prompted to title your board. I'm just going to title it to do list. From here you can also change your background but we can do that later as well so I'll save that part. Here you can also change your, uh, your privacy settings if you want it to be private or public. If you're sharing your Trello board with somebody, here's where you would uh, make it public so that they are able to view this Trello board. Let's keep it private for now and click create board. Now here is our Trello board and automatically this menu board is open but you can always close it by clicking this X button. But since it's open, let's go over these options here. Here on about this board, you can add a description to this Trello board. All of my Trello boards are private and I know what they're about so I don't need to add a description ever. But if you're working with somebody, this may be helpful. Here's where you can change the background of your Trello board. You can add a solid color. You can add different photos. And if you wanted to add a photo of your own, that comes with the paid version. Let's stick with a regular photo for now. You can search up anything. They have thousands of photos to choose from. I'm going to search up to-do list just because that's what this board is about. Next up, we have search cards. Once you grow your library of lists and cards on this board, this may be an easier way to find the information you're looking for. Then we have stickers, and this is just a fun way to add more personality to your boards and cards. If you're done with a certain item, you can always add this checkmark sticker or you can mark something as important by adding this star sticker. Clicking on more, here we have settings and here's where you would manage a team if you're working with one on a board. Then we have labels. This is also a different way to personalize your board by adding labels to a card. You can even add names to, diff to the different labels. Just click this pencil button here. I'll name this one urgent and click save. Other items here on the more section are archived items. Nothing is ever deleted from Trello. It's always just archived, which is awesome because if you ever accidentally delete something, you can always find it here. Then we have a copy board. If you wanted to make an exact duplicate of this board, you can always easily do that by clicking here. Then you can also print and export this board. You can close down this board here as well. And here's where you will find a link to this board. Just copy and paste it and share it with anybody who you want to view this board as well. Next we have power ups. Power ups are just like add-ons to your Trello board. Here you can search for anything or you can search by different categories on the left here. You can make your board do so many different things. You can connect it with different services like your Gmail, Slack, 
Google Drive. And here at the bottom, you'll find a description of what it will do for you too. I will leave a video linked in the description where I share some of my favorite Trello power-ups and how to use them. Now I'm going to X out of this menu and move along here to the left-hand side. If you wanted to go back to the Trello home where all your boards are laid out, here's where you would go. But you can always navigate to a different board by simply clicking here and choosing a different board. And here's another way to search through your cards and your lists once you start growing your board and adding more lists and cards. This is an easier way to find what you're looking for. Here's the name of our board and you can always edit it by simply clicking and editing it here. If this board is important and you want it to come up at the top of your boards list, you can always start here. Now let's start adding some lists to this board. To start, just click here which says add a list and I'm going to name this first one project. If you click enter, it'll automatically add a new list for you so that all you have to do is name it. I'll name this one to do and doing and the last one I will name done now i'm going to start adding cards to each list and to do that just click on add card here i will be adding three projects to this list which is write book new video and declutter home this is in my actual weekly to-do list but if i was using trello to work on my weekly projects this is how i would do it now i'm going to be adding cards to this to-do list and i'm going to be adding different tasks that would move each of these three projects forward that would help me get them done. So now I have three different tasks for each of these projects. First one I have for write a book is brainstorm title, contact beta readers, and write three chapters. For new video I have research topic, write script, and record video. And then for declutter home we have garage, closets, and rooms. If you look closely at the top of each list there are three dots and here's where you will take different actions with each list. You can add a card from here, you can copy this list, you can move this list either to a different area on this board or to a different board altogether. Just click on board and here you will have a list of all your boards. So if you wanted to move it to a different one, just click on it, choose the position and click move. You can also click on watch to be notified of any changes done to this list. You can also sort your list by date created or alphabetically. You can move all the cards in this list to a different board or to a different list on this board you're working on right now or you can delete all the cards on this list or you can delete this list altogether by clicking on archive this list. And you can take different actions with each individual card as well. Just hover over it and you'll see this pencil icon. Click on it and here you can add labels, change members, you can move it just like you can a list. You can move each individual card, you can copy it, you can add a due date, or you can archive it altogether. So if I wanted to add a label to this one, I just click on it. Let's just say that writing a book is urgent. So then I just click on red and it'll add a little red label at the top for me. If I wanted to add a due date, just click the pencil icon, click on due date, and let's say it's due by the 31st. You can set a reminder as well and click save. And it'll have the due date listed at the bottom here. A faster way to add labels to each card is to use the numbers on your keyboard. For new video, I'm going to click 2 on my keyboard and it'll add a yellow label. For declutter home, I'm going to click 1 on my keyboard and it's going to add a green label. And I guess that will mean that writing a book is very important. New video is semi-important and declutter home is not that important. So I'll make sure to get the red items done first, yellow next and then green last. I'm going to do the same thing to these cards here. And you can always access a list of the label shortcuts and many more shortcuts by clicking on your profile icon and click on shortcuts. Here you can find many different shortcuts you can take to make things faster as you're working on your board. And here you can find the numbers and the different labels. I know it's a lot, but I suggest that you at least learn the ones you use very often just to save time. Next thing we'll do is move the red items over to doing. Just click and drag and drop on the list where you want it. 
Now, since I've moved these items to the doing list, that means these are the items I'm working on currently. That can be for the day, for the morning, for the next couple of hours. It's up to you how you want to break it down. But once I finish each of these items, I will just move it over to the done section. Now, the last thing I want to show you is the card back. To access that, just click on any card. And here you will be presented with many more actions and things you can add to each card. At the top here is the name of the card and you can always edit that by clicking on it. Here will be your labels. You can always add a description here. Here you can also add comments and this is helpful if you're collaborating with somebody on this particular board. And here are several different things you can add to each card. You can add members. Here's another way that you can add and edit labels. You can also add a checklist which is very useful. Just click on checklist, add a title to it, click add and it will create the checklist here below your description and just start adding different items to your checklist. When you're done adding an item, just click enter and it'll automatically have a spot to add the next item. And as you get done with each item, just click this box to check mark it done. It'll cross it off for you and it will also have a progress bar at the top here to show you how close you're, uh, you are to being done with each checklist. Moving down this list, you can also add and edit due dates here. You can add different attachments like PDFs, images, Word documents. You can also add a cover to each card, which is just an image. Just click on add cover and you can search for anything you want. I'm going to search for read. And now this picture will show up at the top of the card back here. And it will also show up at the top of your card on your board. And this is just a way to further customize your board, separate things into different sections, and make it look more attractive. Lastly, here on this card back, you can also take the different actions we talked about earlier, move, copy, watch, and archive. You can also share this card by clicking on share and just sharing this link here. And that is pretty much it. That is how you use Trello. I hope I covered everything, but if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Now I'm just going to show you around some of my Trello boards just to give you some inspiration and ideas on how you can use Trello for your personal needs, your business needs, and even to keep up with your projects. One of the ways I use Trello is to keep up with different things I need around my house. So here I created this board and named it Need. The first list I have here on the left hand side is just a general grocery list. And I like to use Trello for this because you can move the cards around and I can organize it by aisles at the grocery store. So when I'm doing my shopping, it's easier to get everything in one go. And I also have my needs separated into different categories. So here I have paper and cleaning products, toiletries, any clothes I may need for me or my kids, and then I have furniture and house stuff. The great thing about this is that this will automatically sync to the app on my phone. So when I'm at the store or I'm shopping online, I can always just take out my phone to see exactly what I need from the clothes store or from a furniture store or wherever I'm at. I also use Trello to keep track of my video ideas for this channel. Here I have one named STMB Video Ideas. As I read books, I come up with different ideas of videos I'd like to make. And sometimes I'm also scrolling through YouTube and I see a video that I'd like to make as well. Or listening to podcasts. All these things bring up different ideas and here's where I keep track of them. And again, I just use the list to separate my video ideas into different categories. So I have tutorials, business, productivity motivation, spirituality, and so many other things here. I also use Trello to keep track of the books I'd like to read. Anytime I hear a recommendation, I keep it here and again, keep it separated by different categories. I also use it to keep track of a new book I'm writing. I keep it separated by different chapters here with lists and add cards to it about things I want to research. So there's so many ways that you can use Trello. 
And for even more ideas on how to use it, I will leave this page linked in the description. It's on Trello's website, and here they have different board templates that you can use and customize and make it your own. Here they have different categories, and as you can see, they have one for all different sorts of things. You can even use your search bar to look for a specific type of board template you're looking for. I typed in gratitude, and here they have a gratitude diary. Just click on view board, and here you have the board template. The first list here is how to use it. So if you click on it in the description, it'll give you directions on how to use it. And then here, I guess she has the month separated into different lists and the day separated by cards. You just click on a card and add your gratitude list in the description section. So that's just another way to use Trello. There are endless ways to use it to organize your life, your business, and different projects you have going on. I do have more Trello tutorials and I will link them down in the description and at the end of this video as well. So if you want to learn more about it, make sure to check those out. But if you like this Trello tutorial, give me a thumbs up. And also let me know down in the comments below how you will be using Trello moving forward. I'd love to hear your ideas and that's all for me today. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.